I'm uh, trying a new crappie jig out. Got a little spot of bass on it. And uh, hanging around this timber over here, seeing if I can get some crappie or bass, but uh, hopefully a couple of big crappie. There we go. I had a feeling there'd be some crappie there. Got me a, ooh, I got me a nice crappie here. Wow. That's a chunky one right here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a big old crappie. I'm testing out a, a new crappie bait I bought. I'll tell you guys about here in just a little bit. Got me a really nice, healthy crappie on this thing. Bright yellow color. <laughs> That works out great. Man, what a beautiful crappie that is. Yellow and white. Nice little thump. They're right by that tree stump. And uh, man, there's a, there's a lot of them there. So hopefully I'll get some more. Another one. I've run across some really nice school of crappie here. This one here is not as big as the other one, but he's still good size. Oh yeah. Golly, this thing's beautiful. I love the way these things bite. You know, you're you're going along, and all of a sudden you just get a thump. And you know it's a crappie, because they just they bite a certain way. This is a little strike king. I just bought it the other day. I saw them on the shelf. I hadn't tried these yet. And like I shared with you guys, I'm getting more and more into crappie fishing and uh, starting to learn a little more on how to find them. There's a, there's a kind of a tree trunk sticking out and it, it goes in the water like this and I'm casting out past it, counting down to about 10 and then bringing it right over the base of that tree trunk. That's like the third fish in a row. So. They, they definitely, definitely love those trees, don't they? <laughs> That's one of the smaller crappies I've caught lately. I tell you what, what it is, is they're, they're sitting right on the base of that tree and I'll turn around and show it to you here in a little bit but I got to move this thing so slow it's not even funny I got to let it sink down I can't count down to 10 15 this thing sinks, sinks pretty slow I only got it on a 30 second ounce jig head but I sink it down really slow and I reel as slow as I possibly can and what's funny is I put this thing in the water, kind of watch it. That little tail right there has all kinds of action, even when you're reeling it really slow. And uh, yeah, got on another good crappie bite. And several other areas I want to try today as well, but I had to stop here because I was catching them here the other day. <laughs> Changed my tactics a little bit here, so I was having a hard time because I'm in a, I'm in like 17 foot of water. I was having a hard, hard time with the little bit of breeze that I have getting that little 30 second ounce down. I was thinking about changing to an eighth ounce. Decided to go ahead and throw this under swim or underspin with one of my swim baits. In fact, I had run out of this color <laughs> yesterday. I made 20 of them because uh, I kind of figured it was going to come into play today. So uh, again, still by this tree. A lot of fish hanging out in this area. 
Uh, stick around, I'm gonna turn the boat around, I'm gonna show this to you here pretty soon. So I'm gonna show you guys this tree and uh, got my remote going here. So once again, this tree runs toward the, toward the shore. I was able to find the base of that tree trunk and that's where a lot of these fish are hanging out. I gotta get the boat turned around here. Give me just a second. Anytime I see something like this, you know, I'm gonna stop and, and cover it thoroughly. In fact, later on today, I'm gonna come back and do it again. I'm gonna let them recover. Maybe some more fish will come in. Come back later and try to catch them again, but I'm always looking for stuff like this and it's gonna come into view here in just a minute. Forgot how to use my remote. Anyway, you guys will see this tree over here, and it's just um, just sticking up out of the water. It's coming up this way. So what I did was I just got to the base of that tree, sunk whichever bait I was using, I, I, both an underspin or a little crappie bait, and I caught a bunch of fish right there. So. You know, we don't get a lot of that out here. Uh, unfortunately, water doesn't get as high as, as I wish it would or we would get a whole lot more. But anytime I see this, I'm gonna stop and fish it and see if I can get some. Oh. You knew it was gonna happen. You know it was gonna happen. I've been able to avoid it, but nope. I could tell by the way it's fighting. Stupid catfish. Ah, got it. Get over here. Get over here. Uh, of course. Of course. Like I said, I. I avoid catching these things if I can. <laughs> and I knew as soon as he hit it, it was gonna be a catfish. I could just tell by the way they fight. Now guys, I'm not against catching catfish. I like catching catfish. But when I'm, when I'm targeting them, not when I'm fishing for crappie and bass. Look at all the snot they get on your line. Hey everybody, it's Dalton. Another fun day out here at the lake. Um, I want to show you a, a, a new crappie bait that I ran across. It's not new, but it's just something I've never used before as I continue in my journey of learning more and more about crappie. Um, I think they're really easy to catch, but sometimes they're hard to find. Uh, I found that tree, or I had that tree earlier this morning in the water. Caught a bunch of fish around that, both crappie, spotted bass, caught some white bass today, uh, silly catfish, uh, just kind of the, the Nascimento day. You can catch a lot of different species out here, but this little crappie bait I came across is called a shad, it's called a shad pole. It's a little two inch bait. And uh, I like the Bobby Garlands a lot, but I'm gonna add this to my arsenal. I'm definitely gonna order some more of these. Just a little two inch crappie bait. This one here is chartreuse and white. You can see how active that little tail is. And um, what I did was I used a, just a medium light spinning rod. <laughs> a little while ago, I had one finally bite the tail off this uh, particular bait, but I caught quite a few crappie on just that bait alone. And uh, kind of the weight size that I recommend for this, if it gets windy, you can go up to about an eighth ounce, but what worked best for me today it's just a little Strike King crappie jig head, 132nd ounce, real small, real light, light line, two to four pound test. And uh, I just feel like that lighter line and those lighter weights bring a lot more action to that little bait. And what I did today was I would just cast it out. I'd let it go toward the bottom, uh, count it down. I was counting down to 10 to 12. That was the count for me today. And I would put my rod tip down and I would just reel that thing as slowly as I possibly could, as, as slowly as I could stand it. And that's how I was catching those crappie. The other thing that worked really good today, I just throw this on a medium spinning rod, eight pound test line. This is made by Cool Baits. It's a little underspin, 3 16 ounce. 
And the trailer I put on there is one of my swim baits, a little two and a half inch, uh, white with silver flake. Caught a bunch of different bass, or a bunch of bass, uh, uh, white bass, and of course, catfish. And the crappie will take this as well. So I do a lot of finesse fishing. I uh, do a lot of light line fishing. Reason for that at this lake, I mean, if I were in Florida or something like that, I'd be fishing a lot heavier line with all the weeds and the grass and everything they get there. But out here, you just don't have a whole lot of that to deal with. So light line is really the best way to catch fish out here. About the heaviest I go is 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Maybe when I'm dragging a worm, throwing a jig, or, uh, but on my spinning rods, it's typically gonna be four, six to eight pound test, rarely more than eight pound test. So light line works really good out here. I think light line works really good anywhere you can do it because it just, I think the bait looks a little more natural. So a lot of fun today. Caught a lot of fish, got a lot of bites, and uh, caught a, a few different species of fish, which makes it a lot of fun. Well, thanks, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate it if you subscribed. If you haven't, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for the day. Uh, but I will talk to you guys next time. I'll be back out here again. Have a good one.